This is the new Bing Fang P90 V4. Okay, so I've shown you previously the V3 P90. They made some improvements here. I'm going to talk about those and show them to you quickly. And overall, this just is a better built, better version of the P90. So if you've got the extra money you can spend, check this one out. This is from Zenduo Blaster or ZenduoToys.com, ZenduoBlaster.com, same site. Lots of awesome blasters, probably the most experienced site um, out there from China that is selling into the U.S. and lots of really cool new blasters on a regular basis. Plus, a lot of stock is already located in U.S. Uh, warehouses, so those are marked very well, and those get here really fast. Now, this one is still uh, coming from China, but they do switch up which stuff gets stocked in the U.S. and I think the you know stuff that they sell more of. Um, and the certain price points are stocked over here. So maybe this will be at some point. Anyway, you can see it looks very similar. Right away, though, you can tell it is better quality. Like just the fit and finish of everything is better. It's nicer. It's better made. So that's why there's obviously a little bit of a cost difference. A couple things they did different is they did uh, better MOSFET control of the semi-automatic and automatic. Okay. Now... Anytime I see the word MOSFET, I like to just remind people that, you know, a lot of people still will use 11.1 on them, but you do run the risk of damaging the MOSFET. So just be careful if you're doing that. You know, anytime the seller or website advocates or says that it's okay to do an 11.1 and they offer that as an upgrade, I mean, you should feel comfortable doing it if they're selling it to you. Um, but again, just something to be cautious of. Now, this is gonna to come to you with no tip on it. It's gonna to come to you with a black tip like this, right? That's kind of the standard one. This is actually a little thread protector because there's actually some nice threads on here. So let me spin this off. This orange one I just stuck on for the video for the sake of YouTube. You can see there's a nice thread of tip. Your metal inner barrel sticks out just past it. So great for adding on any type of uh, flash hider fake suppressor, tracer. Now with the metal barrel sticking out this far, that might go past your tracer sensor. So if you do go to a tracer, you might want to use some sort of small little extension on there. Um, worst case, you can you know trim that, but I just think it's a better idea to go with an extension if you're going to go that route and you need to. First try the tracer. It's just going to depend where the sensor is inside your tracer, right? But that's definitely a nice upgrade. That wasn't there before. Up top, you can see in, we can see where the gearbox is, right? You can see where the T-piece is, where, um, you know, the gel balls drop in to feed, okay? So this typically has, you know, like a, it's like an inline Gen 8.5 gearbox in here. The magazine, they've made some improvements here on the magazine connections and the magazine itself. You can see it's got the fake bullets in there. And of course, that still just goes in the same way and just should click down in place. There we go. And pop in place like that. Another nice thing they did is they relocated the battery back here. Battery used to be in a little door down here. They relocated it back here. So now your battery goes back here. There's a lot more room for larger batteries. Um, and then also you can see right here the access point to get to the spring. So this is really nice. You can easily upgrade the spring just by sliding that door off, turning this with a screwdriver. Your retention pin and the spring are going to pop right out. You go ahead and upgrade the spring a little bit and definitely increase the FPS. So I'll make sure I do a little spring upgrade on here and I'll show you what the standard one is. Uh, but it's nice that you don't have to take it apart completely to do that because that's a very simple upgrade most any gel blaster user could do. So your battery, it's going to come with a 7.4 volt battery. You can see it's a smaller battery. That just means less capacity typically. Um, but you can definitely fit a lot bigger one in there too. Some gel beads, some eye protection, and of course your charger. All right, so if we go ahead and plug that in, we have our selector here, right? So we should be able to be in single shot, and then safety, and then it should click over one more. There's your 
automatic. All right, so there it is. Pretty cool blaster. Like I said, definitely better constructed, better built than the previous P90s, even though they were the same brand. Bing, bing. So this is the V4. So check it out. It's enduoblaster.com, enduotoys.com. Give you another closer look at it. Of course, we'll play with it. We'll do some demos. I'll probably do a little spring upgrade. See how much that changes the FPS. And then I already printed, 3D printed a really cool kit to put on this one that I haven't used before that I pretty much have ready to go. So comments, questions, post them below. Like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends. Participate in those monthly giveaways. Make sure you're getting notifications so you know when those contests are live. And of course, check out zenduoblaster.com or zenduotoys.com and check out this P90 V4 and all the other awesome blasters that they have. Thanks.